So let me start over. <laughs> so, my name is Eugene, and I'm from uh, Songyo Women's University. And today I'm going to uh, talking about uh, the issues regarding art and culture, entrepreneurship in Korea in general. So we have only one guest from <laughs> the uh, globe, like uh, Israel. And uh, so I have to anyway uh, speak in English. But anyway, uh, in the middle of my uh, presentation, if you want, you can ask me uh, questions in Korean as well. So, the issue uh, started, as far as I know, uh, in the uh, late 1990s. Okay, so this is the uh, first uh, Korean wave, so-called Hallyu, Hallyu 1.1. So, if you look at the uh, background, uh, the culture of art sector has been accepted as part of the content industry back then. So probably I'm going to be talking about the difference between culture and arts okay, later. But anyway, uh, in the meantime, I'm going to use these two terms mixedly. So anyway, in this sector has been commercialized and traded great, uh, great uh, value added. And uh, there's been various types of uh, uh, industries in the culture sector, so you can think about many uh, sectors such as publishing and music, uh, publishing, uh, music and movies, and videos, sometimes dramas, and animation, broadcasting, games even, and advertisements, and design and characters. So there are more, but anyway, I just uh, selected a few. So, uh, before touching uh, several detailed issues, I want to share the uh, definition for terminology. So, let's think about the term arts entrepreneurship. It's a combined word. Uh, so, uh, sometimes people say art publishing, art publishing. So, art plus entrepreneurship. So, I actually opened my uh, course in uh, 1920. Uh, 18 uh, called entre uh, art promotion. So it's like a portmanteau word. But anyway, uh, it's quite a new field. So probably if I uh, say something incorrect uh, information, please correct me uh, afterwards. But anyway, uh, as far as I researched, the uh, famous author Ruth Red Seller uh, was the first uh, person who named arts entrepreneurship. It's an academic field, not in the real world. But anyway, uh, it was like uh, 20, uh, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, in the journal called Arts Management Law Society. Anyway, starting from uh, that moment, people started to have a lot of interest in this field. So, uh, the major actors in this field uh, absolutely would be, you know, uh, artists. Okay, so there are numerous artists in the world and art managers. Okay, these are people who you know uh, manage okay, and they create uh, lots of okay, artworks and art producers. Okay, in the <coughs> United States. So probably the origin of this uh, field would be the United States, but nowadays people are getting more attention in the uh, Korean okay, cultural industry. So I'm going to get back to the issue a little later. But anyway, back then the emphasis was on the importance of artists self-sufficiency. So if you think about the their life, their life, people might think uh, they don't uh, make a lot of money, right? So just art may be a sort of hunger related in that field, but uh, after it became an industry, people uh, started to make a lot of money. So I'm going to uh, emphasize the turning point, okay, afterwards. And uh, later, so uh, the two terms, culture and art, uh, 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 on this slide I mixedly <laughs> used, so I want you to think about the difference on the next slide. So I'm going to uh, uh, introduce a little bit uh, over here. So cultural entrepreneurship may be a broad meaning across the creative industry. So, do you agree? Okay. So you can think a little bit about this. And later, arts 
entrepreneurship or art entrepreneurship, it's focusing more on the on the art field, art field among the creative industry. So probably the scope may be a little narrow when it comes to <coughs> art entrepreneurship. So let me show you uh, a diagram over here. Uh, this is my sort of conceptual, okay, conceptual uh, diagram over here. So there is a field called art. Okay, art may be uh, something aesthetic, okay, something beautiful, okay, something sentimental. Okay, I think those are the art field. But even if it's not sentimental or it's not human feeling related, it can be a culture. So I show you the uh, sorry, extreme example over here. Probably culture, uh, wedding, okay, funeral, okay, and many other human behaviors may be culture, but they are not art. Okay, so think about this one. And also, when it comes to the industry, probably a computer game industry may not be art, okay? but it's culture. So those can be uh, the uh, culture area, okay? except for this overlapping area. So think about this one. And art. Art may be uh, the culture field because uh, many people uh, can share uh, the same or similar similar beliefs, okay, behavior patterns, and sometimes concepts or thinking. So if you can uh, observe uh, a big common area between art and culture, but not the same. Okay, so that's my uh, assumption over here. So uh, mostly. Uh, this field is, uh, is uh, important when it comes to the industry. However, art may be uh, may cover okay, the uh, rest of the field, such as the works created by individual traits, not shared by a group of people in a society. So, culture, namely, should be shared. Okay, the uh, members in a society. But uh, if it's too individual, it may be an art, but it may not be culture. So, uh, do you agree with this one? <laughs> yes. Uh, think about this uh, pictorial representation over here. And anyway, so I started to think about uh, the definition. And from, yes, there are many, many definitions in the book, but this is my definition. And also, it's very related to what? creativity and also innovation. So I thought uh, those sort of uh, interchangeably used uh, words can be uh, very confusing over here. But anyway, uh, pretty much the same. Okay? They cover a lot of commonalities. So that's why I used these uh, four words uh, mixed in over here. And I, uh, I look for some uh, uh, information about uh, ballet over here. Ballet is a beautiful piece of art. Okay, I think uh, everyone agrees with this one. So ballet may be a uh, type of an art. So think about other type, other types of arts. Probably a piece of good painting or a good uh, sort of craft. Okay, those can be also arts and also music. Music, dance, okay? dance, and uh, lots of fields can be an art, a okay? part of art. So uh, there are many background information over here, but I'm going to skip a little bit. These are all the only academic uh, definitions over here. So I uh, <coughs> categorize uh, the art into four fields. Okay, so uh, I hope. Uh, you think about this one as well. So, and uh, if you think, if you agree, if you agree with this one. So, anyway, uh, the first one being is what music. So, when I hear the word art, the first word that came to my mind was what, music. So, music is a big part of art. Okay. 
And the second one is dance, like Korean dance and ballet and many other K-pop dances. So dances can be part of an art. And also, this one. In English, you use these two terms, art and art, but in Korea, uh, it's very you know, <coughs> different. Yesu versus Misu. So it's a uh, so paintings, okay? art, uh, aesthetic, uh, sort of paintings, and many others. So art. And finally, I included uh, this field, literature. So let me uh, get to this one a little bit. So, and then uh, in the you know, column wise, I uh, uh, enumerated four fields, and this horizontally, uh, I said pure art, and applied art in art industry. So, if you go further, uh, rightwards, you're going to see lots of money. Okay, so, it, 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 once it became an industry, you can think of lots of money. So, anyway, in these four fields, you can think of just pure music, pure classical music, like Beethoven and Mozart and many others. So they all passed away, and people who industrialized those pieces of music became very rich. But though some artists were very poor back then, so pure art can be, you can think of a classical music. And if you go to this pure dance, and you know, Korean traditional dance, and also in, in parts of the world, they have all traditional dance. Uh, that uh, does not guarantee a lot of money, I know it. So pure. And art also, pure art, I can think of, Picasso is a big artist, but he has something. That's why the uh, <coughs> price okay, went up. But some artists, okay, like Vincent Van Gogh, he was not that happy that that. So, but anyway, pure art is relatively poor okay, when it comes to money. And also literature. Many uh, uh, writers, okay. Shakespeare, big uh, writer, but some, uh, many uh, 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 writers, they, were, they are not that rich. So pure and applied. If you go to the applied part, uh, these pure parts are very difficult. They're difficult to understand. So professionals, only people who major in this field can understand the meaning and the background and sometimes the techniques. But if you go to the applied art, you can think of many popular music uh, in my age, Michael Jackson and Madonna. But nowadays they think about Ed Sheeran and Adele and many other popular artists, including BTS. So anyway, people don't think about the meaning, they just like it, right? So that's the uh, difference between pure and applied. And if you, uh, nowadays also, the typical uh, characteristics over here, uh, maybe, uh, music and dance are combined. Okay, if you think about the K-pop, okay, they dance and sing. Okay, so these can be combined, but if you think about just dance, and there are many TV programs in Korea, like Street One Fighter or something like that, and they will dance. Okay, so people do not analyze okay, their movement, they just like it. So, apply, if you go to the applied part, it's more like a hobby, okay, more like a hobby and liking. And art as well, uh, pure art may be a little different, but if you think about uh, some uh, easy parts that you can enjoy, okay, the meaning or the aesthetic feature of an art. So, as you go further, okay, you can uh, just enjoy, not analyze or evaluate. And also literature, uh, Korean literature, like Hun Min Jong, Sejong Dynasty, uh, Joseon Dynasty, very difficult. But if you think about the, nowadays, let's say the Pachinko, Pachinko and many other uh, popular literature, okay, you can think about the enjoy. Okay? So anyway, uh, if you uh, have some uh, understanding about the difference between these two, this is the most diff uh, diff uh, important part in terms of entrepreneurship. So if you operate and run a company, you can do a lot of things. So, as I said, it relates what? 
artists and also art managers and art companies and uh, art producers and also customers and uh, many others. And also it is global. So once it's global, you can enjoy the lots uh, <coughs> of big piles of uh, money. So art industry. So let me get to the first one first. Music. Back then, if you think about the uh, old industry called uh, record industry, just like 30 years ago or, or even 20 years ago, the famous singer, they, they just uh, record his voice and then they just release their albums and then they bought those albums. And nowadays it's very complicated. And there is performance and there is planning, planning company and producing company also, sales company, management and broadcasting publishing <coughs> and also even nowadays copyright can be an asset for your business. Okay. Have you ever heard of the uh, company called Music Club? Music Club or something like that? Yeah, sales are nowadays pick up. Okay. Like a, uh, yes, over, okay, over pick up. So uh, lots of money. And for the copyright industry, you don't do anything. Just you make the uh, piece of work and then you just uh, draw up the contract and then they are going to, okay, they are going to distribute. So it's a big, uh, sort of easy uh, industry once you become famous. So anyway, uh, it gets more complicated. And also, nowadays, uh, probably, I personally don't like it. K-pop music, but uh, here the popularity of this K-pop has grown a lot due to the you know the social media. Okay, social media over here it's like a uh, uh, seventy what? Seven hundred fifty? Seven hundred fifty million hits over here, and that's the music and dance. They are combined. They are becoming more combined. And let's go to the art industry. I just uh, categorized and I optimized these uh, two areas, like craft and industrial design. So craft is mainly based on handwork. Okay, you just make it uh, one by one with your hand. But this industrial design, you use what factory. So uh, this is mass production. However, very important. Okay? If you choose one, uh, my, uh, the Irina, Irina came to me and uh, said, so it's uh, design-wise, okay? It's, it's okay? Design-wise, it's beautiful? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Anyway, uh, design is important. And also, if you think about a car, okay? So we, you think about a lot about the design, right? So design is very important and it produces lots of value. And then, so design. Uh, but craft is a little small scale, but those two areas are very important when it comes to art. Okay, so, so far so good for the art and uh, craft and design more. And let's go to the literature. Uh, literature, actually, I started to think about the ancient, uh, old days, uh, novels. Okay, like, uh, like I said, Shakespeare and many other. Uh, Play, uh, playwrights uh, and sometimes <coughs> poets okay, and many uh, uh, written documents. But nowadays, these written documents can be converted to what movies or dramas. And sometimes in Korea, very famous web two, web plus cartoon, and many uh, technologically okay, converted uh, sort of results. Some people you know, started to enjoy those pieces of art. But basically, they are all based on what? Words. Words or texts. But that's why I categorized uh, this area in the literature field. So, literature can be very broad. So, think about a new movie. You have to write a scenario. Okay? And if you think about a drama, you have to write what? a script. Okay, that's why it's all written. So I think uh, those are based on the literature uh, field. And 
also it's <coughs> cultural building. These these are the definitions. To skip a little bit. So finally, uh, music, dance, art, and literature. These days uh, in Korea, they started to commercialize all those uh, areas. So this famous figure over here, BBC, uh, BTS inventor, Korea, and then he made a lot of money. Sometimes, uh, once he uh, was one of the uh, richest, richest uh, Korean entrepreneurs, like top ten or something like that. But nowadays the stock market has plummeted a little bit. But anyway, very famous uh, uh, entrepreneur over here. And this, this black bar was the uh, market cap, market capitalization of that company. And also, we have nowadays uh, four major entertainment companies in Korea: uh, uh, Hype, <coughs> SM, JYP, and YG. And compared to those three counterparts, okay, is the the value was huge. It changes a little bit. Anyway, uh, you can uh, create lots of value and also this entrepreneur can make a lot of money. So, and also, if you go over here, uh, sadly he passed away, but he was the uh, culture entrepreneur, I can say, because game may not be in art, but it, it's not arguable, but in my opinion, it may not be in art. But it can be a culture. Okay. All the uh, adolescents or some youngsters in Korea, they enjoy the computer game. That's why it can be part of a cultural entrepreneurship. So he used to be a cultural entrepreneur over there. And also, this is the uh, you know uh, TV program producer. And then he made a lot of money. Sometimes uh, more than the owner of the company. We have the uh, we have a, whole, a company called CJ and then and more than uh, him. And also, he is uh, like a, I don't know, 20 or 25 years ago, he started to commercialize his performance. Like a, that then Korean was not the famous worldwide, but he started to uh, plan uh, to perform in front of uh, foreigners without Korean words. It's like all like, uh, movements. Body movements, so it's called Nanta. And also, probably, uh, this is the uh, movie um, famous in uh, 2002 or something like that. I think, personally, this is the turning point of a Korean movie. Back then, the Korean movie wasn't that you know, visually good, but they started to think about the visual effects and also scenario and many others. Uh, as far as I remember, the uh, audience, the audience size back then was two million people. Anyway, this one drama, if you think about drama, okay, very famous drama over here and many others, and probably this uh, famous icon over here in Korea. So they started the music industry back then. There is no uh, rap, okay, rap drama in Korea, but. They uh, just uh, adopted and they invented and they created lots of rap based music in Korea. So they, can, they are considered pioneers in that field. And also, this is punk music. And also, uh, nowadays, media and media uh, technology are developing very fast and they started to adopt those technologies. Classical music can be performed on YouTube, okay? and sometimes uh, many other platforms. Okay? So it can be uh, propagated very well compared to the old days. And this one, the, 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 this one is webtoon. Webtoon writers uh, in Korea they make a lot of money, like well, people, people, and many others. So uh, nowadays. Okay. They are considered creators, creators in this film. Back then, um, cartoon is like a child thing or like that, but nowadays, many adults, they enjoy those contents on webtoon. And lastly, from this slide, uh, they uh, combine 
their performance with technologies. Like a famous artist in Korea, Sakovic is probably they uh, obtain the copyright, copyright or portrait right of the IQ character, but they uh, paint okay, the IQ, the IQ character, and then children and people learn how to uh, paint okay, with this uh, famous artist or favorite artist. And many other uh, technologies can be combined. This is a famous YouTube, YouTuber, sorry, a YouTuber I am, and then the drama. And then when, uh, when you think about the old days, if you want to uh, advertise your performance, you have to perform in front of people or you have to record record your uh, music. However, nowadays, just you turn on the camera and they start to perform okay. in front of the global uh, audience. Okay. So these are the changes and nowadays the uh, size of the cultural industry or arts entrepreneurship uh, is growing very fast, very fast in Korea. So uh, I hope you have uh, some interest and attention in this field. Okay, thank you for uh, yeah, this, this one is also explained. So, uh, this is it for my presentation. And do I take questions now? Or? All right. So, any comment? Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you. Indeed, the separation between art and culture, I think it's such a tough subject, but how we define it. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it I could see how you <coughs> struggle with definitions. So, and of course, this division, I'm thinking about Shakespeare you mentioned, right? He was popular, the most popular culture, but today he's considered to be pure art, right? Uh -huh. So changing, actually, yeah, 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 depending yeah. on the context, yes, yes. and maybe in 100 years, K-pop is going to be classical music. Classical music, right, 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 that's what I thought. That's right. yes, yeah. yes. And of course, uh, I'm thinking about things that don't fall in these categories, right? Uh -huh. like, Using counseling, uh, K-pop, or like, mixing them. Um, um, okay, okay, so yes, thank you. Yeah, so uh, I think it's very important to work on this and uh, how to say um, what's considered to be popular, what's considered to be pure, and how we can uh, actually uh, conceptualize it. Yeah, because uh, art usually is stereotyped as without money, yes. for your pleasure, yes. hobby, leisure, uh, something that you do for free or you are really poor. So to change it, it is such a big challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Especially for kids' education. Mm -hmm. We all want to study business administration, <laughs> right? <laughs> art, yes. uh, art and music, etc. So the combination seems to be very... Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Thank you for the presentation again. Combination is very important. Uh, do you yeah. personally enjoy Korean contents? Yeah. Yes, you no? <laughs> uh, I do. Yeah. My daughter actually is a K-pop fan, ah. so I do research uh, on K-pop at home. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I see. Thank you. Uh, thank you. When you talk about just art, mm -hmm. is that just uh, people at art level, but we can put industry, mm -hmm. a company involved, yes. entrepreneurship involved, and it's a uh, create a, um. a lot of value, mm -hmm. yeah. and so. Korea is a strong in not only in the semiconductor and car manufacturing industry, <laughs> now get very strong in the culture industry. Yeah? Yeah. And so the typology is quite helpful to understand uh, in this industry. You are involved in the cartoon industry? Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you tell us your business a little bit about that? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I can take a detail about that. I'm in France. I'm, I uh, make creations and uh, localizations of comics, yeah. uh, French comics, comics for American comics, manga, manhwa, and we work about on webtoons now. Yeah. I will speak about that tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, really? uh, uh, that's all. I, I'm a writer too. I'm a manga care writer, you know. I have uh, a nickname, a manga nickname, a Japanese nickname, Mikuto Senchu. Mikuto Senchu, okay. Okay. That's all. So, can I find you on YouTube, Mikuto Senchu? On uh, YouTube, I don't know, on Google, yes. Oh, Google, Google, okay. For example, on YouTube, perhaps. <laughs> okay. Interesting, yeah.
Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.